Okay, let's take a walk around this Peugeot 306 2 litre cabrio. Um, let's take a slow walk around. It's an absolutely filthy day, so uh, I'm not going to um, do things like put the hood down and stuff like that. Um, we'll just have a good look at the bodywork and things like that. First thing though, it's got a matching set of Pirelli P6000 tyres on it. It's had had one lady owner since 1997. Prior to that, it was uh, a Peugeot factory demonstrator, I think. Certainly Peugeot were the first owners. Um, alloy wheels. It's that nice red colour with the sort of dark bluey grey interior. Just uh, looking at the front of it. All very nice at the front. Well, I can't quite tell if that's, if that's dented or not. Um, it looks to be fairly regular, so I suspect not. But uh, some of you Peugeot experts may be able to, may be able to tell me if it's got a dented grille. Um, it looks like it's supposed to be like that, oddly enough. Don't know. Never, never noticed that before, one of these. Um, obviously, it's got the front fog lamps on it as well. The bonnet is nice. Um, I have seen this car in the dry, and it didn't seem to be full of stone chips and stuff. It's difficult to tell when it's wet, clearly, as it is difficult to tell if there's any parking dinks and stuff down the side. But it did seem when it was dry to be a nice straight car all round, actually. Ooh, there is a nasty bulge in the sidewall on this near side front tyre which is going to have to be replaced. Uh, you need to get that done. Um, screen looks pretty good. Uh, very slight parking scuff on the near side mirror housing but I mean very slight. It's carrying on round, all looks pretty good. Possibly what's that? That's just a bit of dirt. One inch um, deep scratch, well, so one inch long, but uh, deep scratch in the near side. Of the just there, hopefully, you can see it just above my finger. Um, it's got electric aerial on it, carrying on round. Let's just take a good look at the hood on this side. Hood's in good shape on this side, a little bit of verdigris in the, um, uh, in the guttering, but that one, a couple of marks on it, as you'd expect. But it, uh, that will come off with a bit of hood cleaner. Um, the hood all seems to be in nice shape, no rips or tears or anything like that. The rear window looks pretty good. Um, looking at the back of the car, it all looks quite nice around there. So it's a little bit difficult to tell when it's soaking wet. But uh, um, down the offside, it all looks pretty straight as well. Nice there. The hood on this side, once again, a couple of marks, but no more than that. No ripping or tearing on the edges, the way they do get. Um, all looks quite good down there. A nice car, actually. A bit of scuffing once again on the uh, offside mirror housing, but uh, pretty minor. Um, that's it. So it may possibly have a slight slightly pushed in front grille but it hasn't damaged the bumper or anything it has, it has pushed in I kind of think it's supposed to be like that I'll do enough it looks slightly odd um, all right interior wise all very nice let's turn that beeper off for the, uh, for the lights um, you may be able to see a couple of marks and that's just because it's wet and I've had the door open and it's got uh, water on the um, on the door panel but uh, um, it's got the sports seats and stuff. The driver's seat is pretty good. No wear or anything like that on the edge of the driver's seat. Um, Passion seat's got two or three small fag burns in it. Uh, a bit of careless smoking, I think. Um, and it's also, what have we got there? Uh, it's just a bit of material just come out, but it just tucks back in again. Um, rear seats are nice. No problems there. Doesn't smell damp in here or anything like that. The hood lining, the head lining is good. Um, it's got the walnut dash on it. Carpets are nice. Oh, nice up to get the car, you know. My name is Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352. End.